Dragon Tides is the next book on the list. It is 11th on the list, so that's fun, <laughs> I suppose. Um, I shouldn't do that, because then it fucks up the numbers. But anyway, uh, it came out in 2018. Goodreads called it a paranormal romance fantasy. I don't know why I picked up this book. It, the concept is actually kind of stupid. Zara is leaving. She lives on this island with her friends and like her. I think she she lives with her family, but she decides that she's going to leave the island. So she leaves the island. Her friend, Dam, 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 Damrian, Damrian. He doesn't want her to leave because he loves her and he's a dragon. He tells her that um, he loves her and she takes that as impetus to run even further. And then she comes back to the island because I guess dragons haven't spotted. And it wasn't really indicated to me that dragons are a normal part of this universe. Because it seems like everybody else is just like a normal human. So the fact that dragons have been spotted and the island has not been swarmed is kind of ridiculous. Alright. Um... Also, Dama Dam Damarion Diary uh, is, uh, he has a human name, which is Damien. I don't want to use that. So Diary, um, le is, is, he knows that she's back. Zara left because she wanted to get a degree, and him wanting her to stay, like, it hurt her. And I can understand why, because if you have a dream and the person that you love isn't trying to encourage you and they just want you to stay on the island and work with them forever that's kind of a shitty thing to do but um yeah her college thesis is about dragons diary and his siblings are the last of their clan um an enemy clan has been spotted by the humans which is a problem uh also diarrhea kissed zara before she left and they both maintained that the kiss meant nothing he wants to tell her that he's a dragon so um Eventually he does and she finds out that like his entire family are dragons and they're just all okay with having this one human girl be in their family and I don't even know what their child would be like. That's always the thing. Like how do half human, half other things children get delivered? Because like in Elder Scrolls, um, the Khajiits, what they look like depends on the moon cycle. So like how does like a house cat Khajiit produce one of the humanoid Khajiits. I don't understand that. Uh, I guess if I played the game and read some of the lore, I'd probably understand it, but I don't know. Um, he shows her his dragon form by the end of it. Somehow they defeat the enemy clan. I still don't know why more people don't know about the fact that dragons were spotted on this island, but I suppose that doesn't matter. Um, I was bored. <laughs> I love love a whole lot. I have a friend whose relationship routinely gives me life because it's just so sweet and cute. And yes, my scalp is dry. You will not judge me. But I don't... I don't know. I just... I can't find love books that I like. Uh, I would certainly never read it again. All the characters felt flat. I didn't feel pulled in. Their attention was light and I felt nothing. Don't restrict the people that you love just because you love them and you want them to stay because that's not love. That's abuse. You should let them get to their dreams and you should encourage them to go after their dreams because everybody wants everyone they love to better their lives. So, um, the third Dragon Assassin book which is Dark Wings, is um, somewhere on this list. Give me a second. There's lots of books on here. It's eighth on the list. So, um, yeah. Megan, Carmen, and Throd are with Brax, and they're still good. So they're going to the king's executioner. Um, his name is Naram Sin. Uh, her brother, well, they know that he would be there. So there are no patrols. Carmen gets inside the castle where they are, and they get to the treasure room where she finds a map of her brother's hiding place. A golem found her because Naram found her, but he doesn't kill her. He does want her to kill the emperor, though, so that's the thing. Um, she agrees to because the current emperor 
um, would kill anyone who smiled at an assassin. So she doesn't mind that because it means that um, Throd and Megan would be safe. Because if you remember, after she after she, Brax is able to help her kill her brother, she has to go help Brax do something, which I imagine is what the next, I want to say, four books are about. Um, so Megan and Throd are flabbergasted at this. Carmen doesn't really care. She's also starting to see possible futures because of the Dragon Eye. Um, there's a bounty for Carmen and other living assassins. I think I mentioned that in the last book, but I guess I must not have to have noted it here. But, um, so... <sighs> they make a long plan to get into the castle, and more of Corwin's people show up. Um, Gregum, he tries to, like, attack her. But um, Brax, like, knocks him out of the sky, and uh, Gregum drowned. So, um, their plan's going fine. Sargon is the emperor, and he's, like, proper powerful. I, I consume a lot of British um, media in the form of YouTubers. And uh, they don't succeed in killing him, but Corwin this time is ready for Brax's flame. He's got, like, um, some type of armor that keeps him safe. And, um, Corwin and Carmen fight. Carmen, even though she's weaker, she gets the upper hand on him, but she can't kill him because that's still her brother. So she gives him, like, a forget potion to make him forget who he is and, like, every single thing that he would know. Like, literally everything. So, um, yeah. And then Brax is technically free to go. And uh, he also rips out one of Corwin's eyes for fairness to Carmen, because Corwin probably did that on purpose. Uh, yeah. So Brax is her master for a year. I'm a little bit bummed that Carmen didn't kill Corwin, and I really hope that doesn't come up again, because I, A, can't imagine how it would, and B, I can't, uh, no, I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see him again. Brax entertains me. He's delightful. Um, I also don't know what Brax's plans are, which is nice. I know something... I think I remember something about him being like an exiled dragon or something like that. I don't think he's like a prince or anything, but yeah. Um, I like that Carmen is just... Like, it's just her. And Brax has no human form. He's rash and sarcastic and annoying sometimes, and I like that. I like that there's no love story in this, because if there were a love story, I'd be kind of annoyed. Um, although Throd does seem pretty fond of her. I don't know if she's going to come back. I really, like, I know I don't sound like it, but that's because it's 1 a.m. Um, it's 1 a.m. and the country's falling apart. So I'm really excited for that. I kind of want to say to like, comment, and subscribe, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it just feels so disingenuous at this point, but my favorite YouTubers do it, so I guess like, comment, and subscribe.